let us see about the ideal switch before going to the topic we should know certain things like what is an open circuit and short circuit so in this circuit the switch is open so ideally the current through this switch should be zero in case of a short circuit um, the voltage across this switch should be zero so what is power power is equal to vi so in open circuit current should be zero in short circuit voltage should be zero and power is equal to vi voltage into current so let us see the difference between the uh, open condition and the closed condition in an ideal switch so switch is open so current through it is zero switch is closed voltage drop across is zero in other words we can say the on state resistance in this is zero so v equal to ir so when r is zero v is zero in off state the resistance is infinite so current is zero so let us see the characteristics of an ideal switch so there are two things here the switch can be turned on and off instantaneously that is immediately it will get turned on from one state to the other state like from off to on it will go immediately similarly from on to off also it goes instantaneously another thing is it does not need any energy to change from one state to other so this is the voltage across the switch waveform and this is the current through the switch waveform and this is the power loss waveform so initially let us take the switch is in off condition so when the switch is off current through it is zero and there will be voltage across the switch and when the switch is on current will be there and voltage will be zero and the power loss is zero because power is v into i so if you multiply these two you will get zero again multiply these two you will get zero so i for an ideal switch power loss is zero but practical switch the case is different so this is the characteristics of practical switch same waveform so we will draw the um, current waveform now so in off condition usually current is zero in an ideal switch but practically there will be some leakage current and similarly when you switch on it will not change instantaneously so it takes some time to change from off to on state so this is given by rise time so this time to this time period is called rise time similarly voltage cannot come back to zero immediately it takes some time and there will be some forward voltage drop will be there it will not become zero some voltage drop will be there the same thing happens here also while coming from on to off state it takes time to come from on to off state and current will not become zero and voltage will rise to uh, the v of value in particular time called fall time so rise time is not equal to zero fall time is not equal to zero in a practical switch which is zero in case of an ideal switch and uh, the switching time is given by rise time plus fall time and uh, you can see the waveform Uh, if you multiply these two there will be a power loss and during this period rise time and fall time you can say both the values current and voltage are at its peak value so you will get more power loss during this period and again if you multiply here you will get the power loss then fall time also you will get a high power loss so power loss is v into i that is not equal to zero it includes both conduction loss and switching loss so the points to remember here are for ideal switch 
open circuit case you will have zero leakage current whereas it will be a finite leakage current in practical switch in short circuit case zero voltage drop here you will get forward voltage drop power loss is zero you will have losses here uh, switch on and off instantly but it takes time in a practical switch these are some of the questions which you can prepare for a interview so for answers you can um, find the link in description so if you like the video please do subscribe to our channel read electric vehicle thank you